As I was going through some accounts the other day, I realized how fine-tuned we have a lot of our placement stats. And I wanted to give three specific examples of how you can look at your campaigns and maybe make some more immediate changes than you think. So with Q4 coming up, cost per clicks were spiking and people are doing their best to raise bids and raise budgets. But a lot of times people forget about placement stats and they do a little bit here and there, but then they kind of let it go. So I want to show you again, three specific examples of we have with three different campaigns, all going after different types of targeting to show you why we made the decisions we did. Because a lot of softwares and advanced agencies will have very, very fine tuned placement stats. They can take months to kind of lock in. So first off, what you want to do is always remember that this tab is here in sponsored products. This placement tab gives you so much data and sure the goal is always to convert at top of search, but a lot of times people will convert on product pages. And if you're doing very well there, put a bit adjustment on there. Also a quick tip. I know we can't do anything for rest of search. We can't influence that. So if you're doing very well for rest of search, the only thing you can kind of do there is take off all bid adjustments for uh, top of search and product pages and just turn on up and down bidding because then up and down bidding will kind of, you know, up your bids if you are more likely to convert for rest of search. Now, diving in here, this is our example, 30 days, we've gotten 80K in sales on just a few keywords, right? Very big account, very established seller that ranks well at the top of his keyword. He's dominated it for years, but we kept losing market share and we could kept setting bids and higher bids and we would keep losing top of search. So this is the combo that we had to do to, con to keep getting clicks and sales at top of search, up and down bidding with 400%. All right. So now if you do that, if you kind of reverse the math here, we're still only paying $1.45 for cost per click, right? So we've got about a 20 to 30 cent bid here, very low, but we're forcing Amazon to say, Hey, regardless, even we have a low bid, we need this to show up at top of search. So before when we were setting a low bid is it was going to rest of search and product pages and everything like that. And this is how we had to influence it to get up there. Now, this is another example of more of a, a research campaign. So that last campaign was our best keyword. We had to rank for it at top of the page. This one, it, it wasn't moving a lot, right? So what was happening, these are kind of new keywords that we're bidding on. So we don't wanna go crazy aggressive on them. And this was a sale campaign. It wasn't getting a lot of sales, a lot of clicks. So for this one, we kept down bidding on only and just at 125% top of search placement, right? And normally when you guys convert well, sure, we're paying more for cost per click at the top of the page, but ACOS is way lower. So that's what I'm saying. And look at all of our spend. We've got almost $2,000 in spend on this campaign and more than 80% of that is coming from top of search. So if you have a struggling campaign, Quickly changing these placement stats can make such a difference. And then you don't have to track all of your keyword changes. So what you do is you change this one number, you wait a few days, and if it's working, you up it more. If it's not working, you lower it down and then nothing else really has to be watched. Now, this is an interesting one. This is an ace in targeting and we went hard on product pages. So, the goal of these, when you're being this aggressive, is look at our majority of spend, right? 30 days, 3,800 in spend here, 3,300 on product pages. Now this one, I understand that top of search is converting better, right? It's still weird that when you bid on ASIN, they can show up at top of search. Trust me, I don't know 100% how that works either. Regardless, we only wanted to show up on product pages. So we went, real hard with 625%. Cost per click is triple for this, but I can tell you these 7,500 in sales are getting taken from our competitor. And if we didn't put this modifier on, this ASIN targeting campaign would not be doing what we want it to do. It's got a very tight budget. We watch it very closely and the sales and spend are coming where we want it to be.
okay? So the takeaway here is if you can go into your biggest spending campaigns, I guarantee you the metrics at top of search or product pages or rest of search are going to stand out. If they are, start with some small modifiers. So 30%, right? Don't go crazy. This, this, these 400, 600%, these took us a while to, to find and lock in on. Start with a low number. So your cost per click doesn't skyrocket immediately. See what that does. If it works, keep upping it. And then eventually you will know where each of your campaigns are actually spending based on their placements.